In today's video, we show you how to check to see if your browser is up to date and if it's safe to use. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are talking internet browsers and mainly security and keeping them up to date. It's a good idea to make sure that your browser is always up to date just from a security standpoint. Now, a lot of websites like big names like Facebook and Google, they won't even give you either access to the website or certain features of that website if your browser is too far out of date. Now, good thing is, is most browsers are going to automatically update. They check every couple of hours. If they see an update, they will automatically download it. Now, on the off chance that it doesn't, that's what today's video's purpose is today. I'm going to show you how to go in and manually update your browser just in case it did miss one of those updates. Now, we will be using Chrome in this example. However, most browsers are going to have virtually the same steps. They might be slightly different, but you should be able to follow along with other ones like Edge or like Firefox. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Now, to get started, you're going to want to open up your browser of choice. In this case, like I said, we're going to be using Chrome in this example, but you're going to be wanting to go into the settings of the browser. So for Chrome, you're going to come up here in the top right hand corner. Firefox and Edge should be very similar as to find, if, uh, figuring out where their uh, settings are actually are as well. So we're going to left click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner and it's going to give us this drop down. We're going to want to come on down all the way to where it says help and hover over help. And then from here you're going to hover over and kind of swipe left and you're going to want to left click on where it says about Google Chrome. Now if your browser is far out of date and you're on an operating system like Windows XP, Windows Vista, maybe even some Windows 7, some of the older Windows 7s, there is no updating Google Chrome because Chrome has no longer supported those operating systems for years at this point. And so you can go in to check to see if there's any updates, but there's a good chance that the updates have stopped. In any case, for those that are on like Windows 10, you're gonna want to left click on where it says Google Chrome, about Google Chrome, and it's gonna open up the About Google Chrome. Now you'll notice right here, it's automatically searching for that update. So it's saying, hey, your version is not the current version, so we're gonna go ahead and download the new version. Now you can see that nearly up to date, relaunch Google Chrome to finish updating, incognito windows won't reopen. So if you have any incognitos, those are not going to reopen, but any normal stuff will. So you can see that we've got a new relaunch button right here that we can click and it's going to relaunch the Chrome browser to the latest version since it automatically searched for a new update. So in any case, we're gonna go ahead and left click on relaunch. It's going to close Chrome and it's going to reopen. And now you can see that Google Chrome is up to date giving us the newest version number and the official build is, and if it's 32 or 64 bit. And that's all there is to it. Like I said earlier, this isn't something that you should have to manually do over and over again. Most of the time, the browser will take care of its own updates. Now, if you want a little bit more information about keeping your browser up to date, I will post an article down below that you guys can check out if you want a little bit more in depth. That is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe because those things certainly help our channel grow. If you want to support the channel in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of merch over there from stickers and pens and all sorts of cool things. Sweaters like this one right here. This is a pretty cool sweater if you're into like the winters and the trees. But uh, we've got those on over there, so be sure to check those out. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.